Hello, Democles Rocha here. Today I will present to you a division, 568 divided by 8. 568 is the dividend, the value we will divide in equal parts. 8 is the divisor, it means we will do this division in 8 equal parts. I start by taking a look at this first digit here. Since 5 is less than 8, I do not start now. I group 5 with the next digit and now I have 56. Since 56 is more than 8, I can start by asking the question, what number from 0 to 9 do I multiply by 8 to get almost 56 or 56 but not more than it? Ok, by looking at the multiplication table, I see that 7 times 8 equals 56, so the number we were looking for is 7. I write 7 here. 7 times 8 is 56. I write it here and then I subtract. It's a pretty simple subtraction because 56 minus itself will give us 0 as a result. After a subtraction, I bring down the next digit, which is 8. And then I ask the question, what number from 0 to 9 do I multiply by 8 to get 8 or almost 8 but not more? By looking at the multiplication table, you will see that 1 times 8 is 8, so I put 1 here, 1 times 8 is 8, I write it here, and then I subtract, 8 minus 8 equals 0, since there are no other visible digits to bring down, and there is nothing left over, we are done, we can now say that 568 divided by 8 is equal to 71, by looking at this division, we can tell that 71 is the quotient and 0 is the remainder. So, I'm gonna write here 71 and 0. For example, if you want to divide 568 books equally among 8 schools, each school gets 71 books and there are no books left over. To check and see if we did this division correctly, we can multiply the divisor and the whole quotient, get the product and then add the remainder. By doing so, we are supposed to find a number equal to the dividend, if everything was done correctly. I'm telling you that always the dividend is equal to the product of both the dividend and whole quotient plus the remainder. The remainder is always less than the divisor and greater to or equal to zero. Since in this division the remainder is zero, we can say that 568 is divisible by 8. Or equivalently, we can say that 568 is a multiple of 8. It is exactly 71 times 8, since the remainder was 0. Now it's time to say that this video was recorded so it could help you. If it did, please leave a comment with a smiley face, I will be happy to see it. In your comment, tell me where are you from, I would like to know that. I am from Brazil, what about you? If you would like to learn mathematics with me, send an email to democlisrocha at gmail.com and then we can schedule a lesson and set a price. That's it for today, I hope you have a nice day, bye!